Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Lots to talk about. We have Hurricane Florence still working its way through the middle of the Atlantic. We also have a tropical wave that moved off the coast of Africa and another one that is set to work its way off the coast. First stop, though, is Florence. And you can see, just compared to yesterday, the system is still impressive, but just does not look as impressive as what we were seeing yesterday. With yesterday, we had that very compact storm with that very visible eye. Now, as you look at this, you're not seeing that perfect looking structure to this system. You've seen a lot of these clouds just kind of fanning off onto the north and the northeast. That is that stronger wind shear that is blowing over this system. Wind shear is not the friend of tropical systems. Just think of it as just cutting the top of the storm off and we knew this was going to have an effect on this system, especially such a small system. A big system could withstand it a little bit more, but this very small, compact storm is just a matter of time before that wind shear starts to take its toll on this system. That's exactly what we started to see last night, and this is going to continue for probably about the next 24 to 36 hours in this zone of stronger wind shear and then conditions will start to become more favorable. So 24.6 degrees north, 48.6. Right now, winds have decreased down to 105 miles an hour. But look at the track as we go through the next couple of days. You can see it continues that weakening trend a little bit more, but eventually, as conditions become more favorable, it is expected to start to regain some of that strength. Now, the little caveat, obviously, intensity has always been a big problem with these systems trying to forecast that so just how much does the wind shear take its toll on this system that really remains to be seen over the next day or two but the thinking is right now we're going to see this big ridge that is going to start to develop to the north of this and that's why you're seeing that bend back to the west on Florence. That also means we've got to watch this along the east coast of the U.S. Still too early to start to pinpoint is this going to make a direct impact on the east coast or not. We're getting kind of varying results from the different computer models so it's basically something we have to wait and see but it's certainly something that we have to watch as we go through the next couple days. Then we're watching this here. This is uh, Invest 92 putting about a 90 percent chance that we're going to see development with this over the next five days. There's some dry air out here, but uh, it is showing some slow signs of getting better organized. Really hasn't done much over the past 24 hours, but computer models do suggest that that will start to continue, or at least continue that slow organization as we go through the next several days. And here's that wave working its way off the coast of Africa, about a 50% chance that we could see some development with that as we go through the next five days. So here's the European model. We've got the waves out over towards Africa. There is Florence working its way south of Bermuda. Now take that with a grain of salt where you see that heading right towards the coast of the Carolinas because the Europeans been back and forth on this and then the GFS nears the coastline and then starts to turn it more towards the north but keeps it off the coastline. So which one of these is going to happen? I, we don't know yet. But what we do know is it's just something that we have to watch as we go through the coming days. And we'll continue to fine tune this forecast as we go into the weekend and the first part of next week. Of course, we're going to keep you updated on all this right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.